Today, we will be taking another sodium trip around the world with super spicy ramen. I don't like spicy foods. I don't like it. Which one is the hottest? Let's find out. Would you like me to put stuff in your topples? Two biscuits. Good luck getting the treats out. Good morning, everybody. As you guys saw, we are gonna be trying out some really spicy ramen. But first, we gotta go to the Asian market to grab all of the different ramens. So, see you guys there. Check out what we got here. So I'm just gonna cook these according to their instructions on the back of each packet. Bowl noodle hot and spicy with shrimp product of the United States. This one comes with the noodles and three packets. These noodles look a little thinner than the regular ramen noodles and they have a lot of stuff inside. This is about like the level of spiciness I can take. It is spicy. I can still taste like lime and um, fire. It tastes delicious. For spiciness out of 10, I would probably give this one about a three. Bring on the next one. Nong Shim Bowl Noodle Soup, product of the USA. It has the Chef's Best Excellence Award. This one has a lot more of that cardboard taste. You know if you smell a cardboard box? It tastes like that. This is not spicy at all. This one gets a point five. Final one from the US, hot and spicy chicken flavor. This one looks more like American ramen to me. I mean, it tastes like regular Maruchan chicken ramen. The noodles are just like, meh. Not very spicy at all. For spiciness, I would probably give this a 1.5. It's a little bit spicier than just adding pepper to your ramen. So far, all of the cup ramen, not that spicy. Mama noodles is a product of Thailand. A shrimp packet and a fork. The noodles are a lot more jiggly. Tastes like lime squirted on seafood, which is mmm. But yet again, it says hot. Not that hot to me. The level of spiciness, a 1.5. These are cup noodles from Hong Kong. Spicy seafood flavor. These are special cup noodles that are marketed to people in Hong Kong. This one is a little bit spicier than the others. I can taste it like in my throat. <laughs> like a spicy squid flavor. I would give this Probably a four. Another product of Hong Kong, the May Ramen. Spicy flavor. The Chinese ramen always give you so much. It tastes like sesame oil. Very basic, delicious ramen. I taste no seafood, pretty much no spice in here. Maybe there was spice in it. It doesn't really taste very spicy at all. Spice in this level gets a 0.25. Lucky me, product of the Philippines. I see. I don't know why, but I have not had a good record with Lucky Me. I'm sorry to all the people in the Philippines. This one looks really gross too. Maybe I just don't like Filipino flavors or something. It tastes kind of like confusing to me. The beef flavor doesn't taste good. It tastes like really fake. And I don't taste the spice. For the spiciness, I would give it a 0.25. Not spicy. I'm so sorry. Indomie, hot and spicy. Product of Indonesia, comes with different seasoning here. For how many seasoning packets there are, this really doesn't have that much taste. Having said that though, it has a very nice subtle taste. There is absolutely like no spiciness at all. I would give the spiciness level a zero. The Asha dry noodle, this is a product of Taiwan. They're like flat noodles, really ominous looking sauce. This one is spicy, but not that spicy. I don't know. It is. Definitely has like some kind of chili oil inside. Oh, it's going to the back of my mouth. Oh man. Oh. 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 The noodles are super creamy because they're flat. They are picking up a lot of the sauce and I'm sweating. For spiciness, I would give this about a six. This one is the spiciest one so far. Then we have the Samyang noodles, which we've opened so many times from Korea. Korean noodles are always super white. These are the original spicy fire noodles, Samyang. Here it goes. Initially, it doesn't taste spicy at all. Then all of a sudden, like, once you get further into the noodles, it starts getting super spicy. Oh. 
my nose is already like plugging up. It tastes like really, really spicy ketchup. Like ketchup that was lit on fire. Oh, it was burning like the top of my mouth. Oh, oh my gosh. Saliva's like filling up my mouth. And I only had like one bite of it. It feels like there's like a blowtorch and I kind of just like put my mouth near it. <laughs> Everything's going numb. Out of spiciness, I would give that like a nine out of 10 just because I could still handle it. I gotta get mentally prepared for the final one. It was good knowing you Gatsby. Now it's time for the final one. Hot chicken flavor, two times spicy. This one ranks 4,400 on the Scoville scale. While this new one ranks 8,700. Oh. Okay, from the looks of it, it looks exactly the same. I know this is gonna be super spicy. <laughs> I'm scared. When I made this, my nose was like stinging. Oh, ow, ow, it stings. Oh, my mouth. Oh, oh, I'm sweating so much. Oh, it's like in the back of my throat. And then breathing in air just causes it to like burn even more. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Like everything's numb, except it burns. Oh my gosh, the milk is barely helping. It tastes like I ate the sun. It goes away when I drink the milk, and then immediately when I stop drinking the milk, it comes back. Oh, that's not going away. It's not, I gotta eat like one of the non-spicy ramen now. No, now it's spicy. <laughs> oh man. I survived. 10. 10. It just tastes kind of like a tomato, like like a little bit of a tomato, and then immediately it's like ah! <laughs> From least spicy to most spicy. The Indonesian and Filipino ramen are definitely the least spicy. The American ramen and ramen from Hong Kong take the middle tier. And Korean ramen overall is the most spicy. I survived. <sighs> okay, let's continue on with the vlog. Congratulations! We all witnessed Gatsby's success! Congratulations Gatsby, you did it! While it's still early, I thought I would go and check out another aquarium store from somebody who I found on Facebook. DJ Corgi! Whenever me and Gatsby do the remix, everybody's hands go up! frog spun and a bubble coral. I'm just gonna acclimate them, dip them, and transfer them into the aquarium. My friend referred me to the dollar store super glue gel. Now we just gotta let them rest for a few hours. Check back on them in a little bit. Now it's time to head off to the gym. See you guys there. Golden 
Graham cereal. Would you like to make a Fort Gatsby? Behold, the future Ryan and Gatsby's Fort. Our fort is complete. What do you think, Gatsby? Let's go inside. Ah, welcome to our fort. It's so spacious, huh? High ceilings for the corgi. So while we're in this fort, we might as well open the package. This is from Ashley from Japan. Look at all this stuff here. This is for you, Gatsby. Look at this one. Oh, this looks like this is stuff for me. I am also from Hawaii, but currently living in Japan upon graduating college. My friend showed me your YouTube channel a few months ago, and I have been a fan since. Taichu candy, I love these. We got all these snacks. Oh, look at these. Pokemon Sun and Moon wafers. This is an orange cake with our city's mascot on the box. Oh, I'm gonna try this. It looks like a sponge cake. Mmm. An orange pound cake. It's not for you, Gatsby. You're not gonna like it. We're gonna have treats. We gotta stay safe from the outside monsters. But is it time to go to the park? If we need to go, we're gonna have to leave. <laughs> Gatsby's ready to go. He's like, I'm ready. We'll let him eat in peace. Meanwhile, I gotta go and grab some food myself. I'm just gonna go and grab some authentic Chinese food. I got eggplant tofu, orange chicken, and a side of teriyaki chicken. I think I better balance Sean on some Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Switch. There it is. Okay, there's Sean. We are about to race. Two. Okay, here it goes. I'm gonna get you, Sean. Ow. Go! Woo! Yes! Where's Sean? Sean's right in front of me. Are you serious? No, no, Sean, no. No. Well, Sean beat me on that one. So Sean won one and I did. Wait, I need to change my cart really fast. Choose mine, choose mine. Ah, oh, I hate this one. Here it goes. And I see a blue shell. The blue shell's coming to get me, I see it. No, no, Sean, no. Sean, no. I see him, he's right there. Okay, thank God, thank God. What a shame. This one will determine the winner. You can't make a single mistake, because if you do, there's pretty much no time to make it up. Okay, let's go. Drifting. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh, I almost died there. I can't even see what's going on. Oh, Sean. Oh no, oh no, oh no, now I'm definitely lost. Oh, Sean won. Oh man, no. No, 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 no. Third? What? No! <laughs> what a shame. 
Now it's time for Gatsby to model some sleeping positions for you. This is what's called a corgi torpedo. My mouth is still burning when I eat food. If you enjoy ramen vlogs, make sure to check out my ramen playlist. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the thumbs up button. Right now, YouTube's like acting up. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure if you want Corgi on Fleek t-shirts, go to CorgiOnFleek.com. Good night. I'm gonna be using this organic canned corn. That's on our carrots and our bell peppers. And now we add one tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And we mix. Add one tablespoon of butter. Now let's add the corn mixture. 